Good morning, students. I am T. Dube. On the screen, you can see this is ICSC 2024 examination specimen question paper. I am going to do the analysis of this paper, and during the analysis, I will be giving you some simple but very effective steps to increase your marks. And by the end of this lecture, if you continue watching. I assure 15 to 20 marks will add to your existing score. But of course, if you have been scoring 80 by 80, then you are extraordinary, talented, gifted, and you do not need to watch this. But of course, if you are lagging, if you have some problems in writing, and if you have difficulty in handling the unseen passage, and you have trouble in scoring marks in grammar section, then I will show you not only how to score full marks in that section, that means in grammar section, but trust me, the methods that I am going to show you will help you guess most of the coming questions of grammar. And I assure, this is not for sake of saying, but towards the end of this lecture, you will find that you have become capable of not only scoring 100% marks in that particular section, rather you can very well know, you can accurately guess most of the questions that will be asked in the final examination. Maybe it is too much, but I am discussing the methods and you assess it, evaluate it on your own. After watching this video, if you feel that you want to get complete training of all these steps, I would advise you to join me, either offline or online. For one or two classes, you don't have to pay anything. It will be free. And once you feel that I can take your marks, jump to an unbelievable level in a training of one week when you continue my training for a long period of time because I will help you develop your understanding, your writing skills, your reading skills and will give you such techniques of grammar that only I know. I have written in my book Objective English Easy to Hearts Part 1 which is available on Amazon and you can check it on Amazon. You can search my name. So those techniques that I am going to provide you are unique and no one other than me knows them. So how to guess the coming questions, how to know what questions are going to be asked in the final paper. What are the steps that are used by the question framers? I will give you a training of all those steps. But for timing, let us begin the analysis of the paper. First of all, let us have a look of the question paper. You know it, the paper contains five questions. And out of five questions, three are writing best. Now, you have to choose which of the five options you should attempt and why. If you go by my advice, I would advise I would advise you to practice on formal topic. Because so far as the first option is concerned, it is a story writing. So student who is good at creating plot, then adding developing character then adding feelings, emotions, suspense, surprises. If you have been practicing story writing, no issue. If you are capable of understanding your own feelings, consciousness, emotions, then you go for the second. But of the best, either you go for this, the former one, or you can go the you can go for the visual a visual description. If you are going for the visual description, then you will be getting adequate material to write. 
So of the five options, go for the formal or the visual uh, image. As you can see here, if you are beginning describing this particular scene, they, then you can begin it uh, with the description of the lady who is standing in front of uh, these children who obviously have school bags on their backs. So you can understand the purpose of their meeting. Also, you can describe the background. In the background, you can see broken walls. So if you are capable of crafting sentences and, you know, adding emotions, then you can say, for teaching and learning to happen, grand buildings are not required. So you can go on describing each and everything. Now, once I have told you that you should go for formal writing, that means topic number three, competition hampers the overall development of students. How you should begin developing this topic? I have written the answer, but I am showing you how you should practice. So let me take you to that answer first. Now, look at the screen carefully and try to develop your understanding of the topic. My main purpose is not to teach you how to write in this class. My main objective is to help you how you can score maximum marks by adopting the approaches that I am giving you. So you read the question. Competition hampers the overall development of students. So you have to write your views either for or against. I would like you to go for four. Means competition hampers the overall development of students. Now once you have decided that you are going to write on competition hampers the overall development of students, then you start thinking. Do not take your pain and start writing anything. No. Develop an outline as I have shown here on the screen. Now, when you develop your outline, then what benefit you have? If you are making some mistakes, and I would also advise you to prepare the outline in pencil when you are practicing at home. So you prepare the outline in five paragraphs. First, any topic has its introduction. So begin with, begin the first paragraph with introduction. What this topic is. Then develop that topic in four to five paragraphs four to five paragraphs but what you are going to write in each of the five paragraphs must be decided in the outline itself for example suppose you are deciding to write competition hampers the overall development of students so in what way does competition hamper the overall development of students how so now you start thinking in two ways you are talking about competition and you are talking about its negative impact on students so students have four or five domains academic so competition has a negative impact on students academic area how excessive competition leading to stress and burnout so, stress and burnout needs to be expanded. I have shown in the paragraph. Then second, student has to play also. They have to do some art, craft, sports and other activities called extra curricular activities. So, how is competition going to impact you negatively in your extra curricular activities? Second, Next, third, a uh, student is not an individual in a class. When you are sitting in a class, you are not a single student. You are sitting with a friend sitting beside you. Or you have a circle of friends with whom you talk, with whom you share your food, you have. And if 
you have competition on your mind constantly then the competition can impact your relationship with your friends also with your classmates also with your peers also it can have negative impact all students are not of the same mind frame so it can have impact negative impact on relationship also and then finally in concluding part you show that you support your ideas your views that competition hampers a student or has negative impact so in concluding part what you need to do you have to summarize everything whatever you have written earlier so in this way if you practice writing hardly for one month under me your ideas your thinking power will develop now this answer you pause the video and write each paragraph on a notebook it will help you organize your thoughts your ideas and how you should develop your writing okay so pause write and then pause the video and write it on a notebook now let me tell you how each paragraph has been organized and how a paragraph is organized first of all a paragraph has three parts starting part that deals with the topic then supporting details part and then the concluding part all these skills need to be developed in order to score in order to you know fetch highest marks so these are writing skills hope these methods will help you a lot once you are practicing your second question now let us move on to the second question of your paper that is a letter writing now have a look at your second question again it has two options and you have to answer any one of the two so as i have already suggested that you should go for the formal topic so this one the first one you read it carefully you recently read an interesting book that impacted you deeply write a letter to your friend highlighting the parts that impressed you explain two ways in which you would like to make changes in your behavior or actions based on what you have read so in this informal letter letter you have to write a letter to a friend of yours describing positive impact of a book on you that you have read recently well there can be two situations if you have really read an interesting book which i don't think you must have read then you can describe it and then again feeling which part of the book had greater impact on you and then after what positive changes came in your behavior i think uh, it will all be fiction it will all be <laughs> it will all be a kind of uh, you know cook cooking up so i would not advise you to go where there are chances to go overboard or uh, where you will get stuck you will have no ideas on your mind to write because for writing you need a lot of ideas and only those ideas are not enough you need to craft those ideas in beautiful beautifully structured sentences then proper words then grammar then editing a lot of things are needed so i would advise you to go for second one because again it is formal as someone who enjoys gardening you would like other students in your school to experience its, its benefits write a letter to your principal oh to principal of your school seeking permission to start a club for students uh to learn about gardening give specific reasons for your request and explain why the club meet after school hour so it allows you to have some ideas of your own this it is talking about importance of gardening and how other students should also practice it so you can think about it if you 
love gardening then you can understand or you can connect it to you know uh, because of the decreasing number of uh, decreasing number of trees and then greenery going down it's having its impact on environment then you have global warming it is because of uh, this uh, global warming that our season is also getting affected on regular basis so these are valid points that evaluators want to see in your answer including these points i have written this answer so write down this answer as a sample answer and then whenever you are writing the second answer you follow the approach that i have included in the answer please look so here it is you can see first of all the format and then you have subject respected sir and all the points that i discussed with you are included in this answer so you write down beautifully on a notebook and whenever you are writing another answer like this you just organize your thoughts your ideas in a similar fashion so here pause the video write it properly on a notebook now let me take you to the third question of your question paper how you should attempt that so question number 3 is asking you your school is hosting an inter school debate competition write a notice informing the students at your school about the event so here you have to write a notice giving information to the students about hosting of an inter school debate competition so what do you need first of all the format for writing notice you need a format name of the organization notice then you have to write the topic and then you have to come to salutation part and then the content right but the key point is expansion of the topic how you are going to expand it that means if a debate competition is going if an inter school debate competition is going to be organized what message what suggestion what pieces of advice you would like to include in notice that is the main content like you would like to advise your students or the students who are going to take part to read a lot to prepare themselves to do some research and try their level best to bring laurels laurels for institution so these are the these are the points that you need to include in notice writing i have written this answer and you write it a sample so here is the answer and you can see the format and then all the points that i was discussing are included here everything right so pause the video and write the answer and whenever you are practicing practice your answer keeping this format in your mind now let me take you to reading comprehension section how you should read a passage how you should develop its understanding and how you can answer most of the questions and with some practice you can perfect all these skills now let us see how you can solve your unseen passage again before i take you to the unseen passage means discussion of the passage i will be talking about some mistakes that students usually make see there are mainly two approaches that are used by students to solve an unseen passage first is called top down approach and the second is called bottom up approach now let me talk about the top down approach first what is top down approach in this approach in top down approach you read the passage carefully understand it and on the basis of your understanding you move on to the section of the questions and you answer the questions one by one so here you are going from up to down this is called top down approach 
Second is called bottom up approach. In bottom up approach, you come from down to up. Means, first of all, you are reading the questions. Then, you are underlining the key points or important points that are given in framing the questions. And then every time you come to the passage to find out where that answer is. Fine. Again, it is individual or personal choice. I am talking about examination. And the examination is not the time to try a new method. So whatever method you have been practicing till now and have been successful in scoring full marks, you go with that. But if you face any problem and you do not know what this approach is, then let me suggest you what you should do. Number one. First thing that you should do is develop a pattern of doing the passage. Two, for long term, not for short term. Because reading has to do with your understanding. So you see long term approach. And long term approach is always developing your understanding of the passage. Let it take time. Let it take time, but once you master it, there will be a new awakening in your understanding level. You cannot trust what you can do. Time can automatically come down. Automatically. Time can automatically come down. You don't have to bother about your time. So, my suggestion to you is to take your normal time and you go along with the passage especially when you are practicing at your home and try to develop your understanding first develop your understanding and when you are going to question and you find that you are lacking some you need to refer refer to the passage you do refer you do, do refer this will help you develop a strong understanding I am showing you how you should approach a passage even if I take say 20 minutes or 25 minutes it does not matter because I am trying to help you develop your level of understanding by breaking each and everything into pieces and if you want to just go to the question then refer to it you have been doing it for last 10 years why could not you score that? Because you did not pay attention to developing your understanding. So my association with you will be to improve your level of understanding and not only shortcut. I will show you shortcut wherever it is required. But shortcuts can be applied by those who have mastered. I have mastered the skills. I can apply those shortcuts. But for a student like you, a board going student, you must think on whatever time is left. Develop your understanding, understanding, understanding. And one month is enough. One month is enough to develop greater understanding, a comprehensive understanding for such kind of questions. So do not worry about time. Now let me show you how you should read a passage and how you should analyze it, how you should explain it, how you should rephrase it in your own words. Let's read it and enjoy it. So here we are. Look at the first uh, paragraph. It says, It was still a busy hour in the city when I entered Market Road. People ran for their lives at the sight of me. As I progressed through, Shutters were pulled down and people hid themselves under culverts, on trees, behind pillars. The population was melting out of sight. Okay, let us underline it. The population was melting out of sight. Till now, we have not understood who this speaker is. Let me first of all read one paragraph. At the circus, 
So here the speaker has to do something at the circus. So at the circus, I had no chance to study human behavior. Outside the circus ring, they sat in their seats placidly. If you do not understand the meaning of placidly, underline it. Why I cowered before Captain Sweep. So the speaker says that I cowered before Captain Sweep. Sweep is a kind of, uh, uh, what can you say, leather made attached to a stick that is used for uh, controlling animals. So can you, can we um, imagine that this speaker is some animal? From the look it appears. But let us understand it. I got a totally wrong notion of human beings at, at that angle. I had thought that they were sturdy. Now you see, this word sturdy has already been given in bold. So whenever the writer gives a question, word in bold, it means it has been asked in question. I will show you how to find out meaning of these words even if you do not know the meaning. Sturdy and fearless. But now I found them fleeing before me like fleeing before me like a herd of deer. Although I had no intention of attacking them. When I paused in front of a tailor's shop, so here in the scene a tailor is coming. He abandoned his machine and shut himself in a cupboard. Wailing, alas, I'm undone. Once someone shoot the tiger, so now it becomes clear that the speaker, the narrator of this paragraph is a tiger. So it is the biography of a tiger and the narrator is a tiger. A prisoner between two constables had been caught for murder and was just emerging from the courthouse. Got his chance to escape when the constables fled, abandoning him with his handcuffs. So here, what is happening? The prisoner is getting a chance to escape from the clutch of the constables. I tore a horse from his jutka and enjoyed the sight of the passengers spilling out of it and running for their lives. A couple of street dogs invited destruction when they barked madly instead of minding their business. So this paragraph has been narrated by a tiger. What happens when he runs out of the circus? Now let us summarize it once again in three four words. Whatever words. So this 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 uh, narrate this story has been narrated by a circus tiger. One. What are the scene? Scene is people's running. Then another there is a tailor's shop. Then scene is talking about a prisoner's story. So these sequence of events are adding up to the story. Now you can memorize when you are going to solve the questions. You can very well know what is where and if the questions are to be asked, the questions will be coming from here only. So once your understanding has matured, once you have understood what is written inside the passage, then you can not only solve the questions but can give a presentation of it, which is required on the part of good students. Paraphrasing. Now moving on to the second paragraph. So from here onward, once you have understood the starting part of the passage, the latter part of the passage becomes automatically easier to understand. So what we have to do, we are going to see what else are, what else is coming or following in the story. Let's see. So later I learned my master, later I learned from my master of the chaos that we framed the city when it became known that captain had been that captain had been destroyed and that I was somewhere in the city. So here he says that I was somewhere in the city. The tiger is saying sheer hopelessness seems to have seized the townspeople. They withdraw to their homes and even they remained nervous. All doors and windows everywhere shut, bolted and sealed. Some even thought that I was some extraordinary creature. 
extraordinary creature who might pass through the walls and lie in wait on the roof or in the loft or basement. So here basement word has been given in the it means it has been given in the question. So start predicting the question. Poor people living in herds had real cause, real cause to worry. I could have taken any of their homes apart. But why should I? One could understand their fears. But why should those living in brick and cement feel nervous? It was due to their general lack of sense of security and irrational dread of losing their assets. Now, so here the tiger is saying, comparing two types of people, the poor and the rich. The tiger says that it is the poor people who need to get afraid of me, to be afraid of me, because I can destroy them. But so far as the people living in houses made of bricks and cement, bricks and cement are concerned, why are they afraid? I cannot do anything to them. So why are such people afraid? Answer is this. Answer is this. Now moving on to the last part of this passage. I rested for a moment at the door of Anand Bhavan on Market Road where coffee drinkers and tiffin eaters at their tables sat transfixed, uttering low moans on seeing me. I wanted to assure them, don't fear, I'm not out of traveling, eat your tiffin in peace, don't mind me. You nearest to me, hugging the cash box, so here he is talking about different different scenes have been different scenes have been described so this scene is talking about anand bhavan market scene now make a mental picture first paragraph when he is coming out of the circus second paragraph he is talking about poor and rich people and then he is talking about anand bhavan market then what is happening in anand bhavan market so you he is saying that I am not out to trouble you. So he is visualizing some people eating tiffin box, then people uh, counting money. If it's your pleasure, I just want to watch. That's all. If my train trails down to the street, if I am blocking your threshold, it's because I am told I am 11 feet deep to tail. That means my length. The size of my body is 11 feet. I can't help it. I'm not out to kill. I'm too full. Found a green pasture teeming with fruit on the way. Won't meet any for several days to come. Want to stir? Not until I feel hungry again. Tigers attack. Now he says finally, tigers attack only when they feel hungry. Unlike human beings who slaughter one another without any purpose. So this is a kind of you saying attack on human nature so it has been written by R.K. Narayanan so the last part is actually philosophical where the tiger says that we do not attack unless we are hungry but so far as human beings are concerned man is concerned they attack each other or slaughter each other without purpose or without hunger I do not understand now once you have read it, think over it. Maybe you must, you might have missed one or two pieces of information. Go back to it, find it, annotate it. Annotate means you underline it and then you come down to question. Fine. So now we are having here question number one is taken from seven, line number seven. Meaning of a study. Study and fearless. If you are not understanding the meaning of the word study, then next word just after study was fearless. That means strong. Question number two. Basement. It's a very simple word. Basement is a room, not at the top, at the bottom of the house. So here your question is at the bottom of the house. Now, which word in the passage means the opposite of the word liabilities? So, liabilities means responsibilities. If you have, say, 10,000 rupees 
to pay to someone that is your liabilities and if you have 10,000 rupees extra in your bank that is your asset so opposite to liabilities will be assets it is given over here so simple words now again you see these are two marks questions one two three four five right which sentence in the passage tells us that the people were fast disappearing passage number one the line that we underlined people were melting see i am showing you just understand so what is he saying as i progress through shutters were pulled down and people hid themselves under culverts on trees behind pillars and this line this you have to quote here the population was melting out of sight so this is your answer to the first question and this is clear understanding you are quoting this line on the basis of your clear understanding sometimes it so happens that when students do not understand then they take the entire half of the passage and keep below the uh, below the answer let it be the evaluator's headache this shows that you are not sure so you practice at your home like this be very very specific which word which sentence will be the answer now let us see second question what is it asking next question is so you have got two marks what was the why was the prisoner lucky on that day simple we have already discussed prisoner was lucky on that day because so far as the constables were concerned they got afraid of the tiger and ran away and the prisoner got this opportunity to escape that line is given and i think i have underlined also underline 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 we must have done shop and then prisoner part here yeah here it is a prisoner between the two constables who had been caught for murder and was emerging got his chance to escape when the constables fled so this should be your line now moving on to next question next question is next question is what reason does the tiger give to explain why people in brick and cement houses are nervous we have already underlined it here in people living in brick and houses fear because of this here we are this is your answer so people living in bricks so here one could understand their fears but why should those living in brick and cement feel nervous answer is this it was due to their general lack of a sense of security and irrational dread of losing their assets so this will be your this line will be your answer from here to here and then moving on to the next question moving on to next question question number d the passage describes a man who is shivering with fear and clutching his cash box yes what kind of person do you think he is so you can begin he may be the word a, a, a shopkeeper or a cashier but at the same time he was greedy how can you say he was greedy because the, a tiger is standing in front of him and instead of running away he is you know collecting his cash so you can say he gives more priority to money than to his own life so you have to add this is called analysis so you have to add greedy word now how would how would you have reacted if a tiger 
walked into street outside your school so here you cannot get answer to this question from the passage you have to think so you imagine that a tiger is standing suddenly in front of you when you are coming out of your school you will feel panic and afraid terrified and you would you know life would come out of your body so that should be your feeling now in not more than 50 words describe the tiger's thoughts and how differently people behave inside and outside circus so inside they look placid peaceful but outside when people see tiger how they react this is what you have to write the contrast in the people's behavior when they are inside the circus to watch circus and when they are outside so we have seen both the scene so my main objective is to tell you that first of all instead of going for shortcut way go for understanding because once you develop your understanding the same passage can be done in 8 to 10 minutes but once you have developed your understanding moving on to grammar section i am showing you how you can score full marks in grammar and that also in very little time but of course you need to be trained so in today's class i am showing you and if you like you can get all the training how to approach the uh, different kinds of questions how to apply shortcut method and all so let us move on to grammar section so let me take you to passage now look at the screen and uh, let us do your grammar questions so this is question number 5 and as i have promised you can not only solve these questions accurately but you can very well predict what questions have been given in any sample question paper you can try it after my class or you can very well assume if you understand the techniques then you can very well predict most of the coming questions let me show you how it is possible first of all here you have to read it right example is given ricky tiki knew better than to waste time in staring we do not know who this ricky tiki is maybe an animal maybe a mongoose maybe anything so always remember when words are given within the brackets you have to understand the context and the words can be only out of the eight parts of a speech how to use them i am discussing you try to understand so look at question number 1 and it says ricky tiki was angry so what you see this ricky tiki sentence is beginning in past tense right he sat on his tail and hind legs so ricky tiki is sat sitting on his tail and hind legs that means backward leg so we can say we can imagine you it to be a mongoose so you always use your assumption or imagination and here look is given around him with rage now what is happening in this sentence beginning from he to rage there is only one finite verb i do not know whether you understand the concept of the finite verb or not this chapter is a finite verb means it will show either subject verb agreement or tense and this part is forming as an adjective phrase that i will be discussing in training if you want to so because it is making an adjective phrase so in the first blank space we will be needing this word looking because looking is a present participle and this chapter word since it is finite so it will be chattered chattered with rage 
Now what you have to do? You have to ask a question. Why you looking will be correct answer? Why chapter will be correct answer? If you can provide answer on your own, you cannot lose a single mark. But if you are answering not knowing why it should be right and wrong, then you cannot be sure even of a single mark. Even of a single mark. So it is very important for you to be sure of what you are writing and why are you writing. Now moving on to next. But Nag and Nagina disappear already into the grass. Now if I ask you to give your own answer before my I before I am giving you the answer, then you can think that there is difference between your answer and my answer. So here disappeared, have disappeared will be the right answer. And you would be writing or most of the students would be writing disappeared. Now why have disappeared? But Nan and Nagina, Nan and Nagina had all had already disappeared into the grass. Now let me explain why. Here there is a time reference word that is already right and it is showing that this action has already happened before that particular time. So concept is when there is a past or time reference and on one action is already completed before that. So the tense required in the gap is past perfect and not simple past. So this is the reason. Now let us move on to the next question. When a snake misses its stroke, now this the tense of this verb is changing. You can see. So from here it becomes a factual sentence and therefore the sentence is in present. When a snake misses its stroke, it never, then this says will be, it never says anything. Why? Because this statement is factual. Anything or, or gives, or here it will be gives, because this sentence is a factual statement and you must be knowing that simple present tense is used to express facts, universal truths or habitual actions. Now what is happening in the sentence ahead is this. Look here. So Riki Tiki did not care to follow. Again the sentence is beginning in past. For he did not now because there is a did not here, this verb will be only feel, did not feel. So here it will be feel. Did not feel sure that he, now because this main clause here from here, from here to here it is main clause. And the main clause as you can see, is in the past tense. So concept is that if the main clause is in the past tense, the verb in the subordinate clause should also be in the past. It means here it should be could. Here it should be could. So could manage two snakes at a time, at once. So he trotted off, trotted off means walked off, went away to the gravel path and sat down to think sat down to think again it is past so your verb will be past in place of is it should be was so what i mean to say that in order to score 100 percent marks in grammar you must go under someone who can not only give you answers but give you the reason there is no need to join any teacher or join my class. But your main concern should be that you are getting right knowledge. That you are getting a solid concept. That is more important thing. Now moving on to question number. Now look at question number two. 
and let us do it filling the blanks with appropriate words so here you have not been provided with any options and you have to think of an appropriate option on your own so before i give you the answer and its explanation you try to find out a word that will be suitable in each of the blank spaces and as i have told you if you want to become confident of your marks then you will have to know why your chosen word will be 100% correct in order to know that you will have to know the reason if you are applying a particular word why are you applying so before i give you the answer you do each of these questions on your own and then when i am providing the answers and giving you the explanation match your answers and explanations with mine so let us begin question number 1 my sister and i get very very well with each other the correct answer the correct word let us say the appropriate word in this blank space will be let me use red ink so in this blank space the correct option will be the word along the word along now why this along would be along word will be correct over here reason is from this part from beginning from get to with it is forming a prepositional phrase called get along with so get along with means to form rapport to establish good relationship to have mutual understanding so this phrase is forming a pattern this is called word pattern over here so is the second option see only filling in the gaps is not important it is very very important to know what that word will be and why that word will be the correct answer so if you can give the explanation of your words then you will be considered to be intelligent now look at question number 2 that means b mini plays basketball her friends every day so if you are playing say something then what preposition will be here so the correct preposition will be with because when you play something in company of someone the correct preposition for that is with now look at question number c it has been 20 years she graduated from college so what will be the correct word over here and why will it be the correct preposition in this gap will be since now why since will be the correct preposition because this part that you can see the part coming after since this one she graduated from college shows the starting point of time and you have studied that for is used for a period of time and since is used for point of time so here she started since she uh, since she graduated from college is denoting starting point of the action it has been 20 years since she graduated from college that means from the time she completed graduation from college from then to now it has been 20 years now moving on to question number d question number d says growing up we were looked 
and brought up by our grandparents. Again here, you need to be very very careful because you can fill in the gaps only if you are understanding the concept and your prepositional phrase and phrasal verb is very strong. So, growing up, we were looked after. So, here after will be the correct word. Now, again question comes, why after will be the correct word? It is because look after is a phrase and bring up is also a phrase. So, look after is when someone is taking care of you during your growing stage. That is called look after and brought up. Therefore, only context can help you here. Moving on to question number E. Most students take the bus school as it reaches the premises on time. What will be the correct word over here? The correct word in this gap will be two. Now again the question is why two? Why two? I have already told you and every time I am telling you that whenever you are filling in a gap with any word, you ask a question. Why will that particular word will be the correct answer? Now, here two will be correct because the preposition two is used when final destination is referred to. That means school is final destination. Therefore, two will be the correct preposition over here. Like you say, I go to Patna. So, here two is being used because Patna is your final destination. So, the preposition two is used to denote final destination. So, this explanation part can only make you stronger. Moving on to question number F. The cricket match was put because of torrential rains. So, what will be the correct word? It will be off. This off. O F F. Now, again, ask a question to yourself. Why will off O F F will be the correct answer over here? Reason put and off together forms a preposition or phrase which means cancel. So, sentence wants to tell that the cricket match was cancelled because of torrential rains. Therefore, working on phrasal verbs and prepositions is very very important for getting command over this section of questions. And for a board student, especially good student, each and every mark counts, each and every mark matters. Moving on to question number G. Roy backed off the competition at the last minute. Now, what will be the appropriate word over here? So, very, 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 very difficult word to think of. So, the correct word in this blank space will be out. Now, why out will be correct over here? Reason. It is forming again a word pattern called prepositional phrase. So, here this starting from back to off is a phrase. It means withdraw. So, so the sentence wants to tell you that Roy withdraw his name from the competition at the last minute. So, you have to be very careful. Now, question number H. I have been training under her the past two years. The correct answer in this blank space will be 4. Now, why 4? Why 4? Remember earlier also I have told you that since is used to denote the starting point of time and 4 is used to show period of time. And here you can see this the last two years is period of time. This is showing two years. One, two. So, this two 
are two periods. Hence, four will be correct preposition over here. Now moving on to question number three. And this question three, you have eight marks. Very, very four marks here. And then you have question number four, eight marks here. So eight and four, 12 marks. 12 marks you have over here. You cannot afford to lose 12 marks simply because you are explaining or you are just thinking that this particular word will be correct. No. Preparing for board examination means becoming conceptually strong. Becoming conceptually strong. Now let me show you how you should answer. And as I have promised, with some training, because a lot of time is left for good students at present. So if you want to go under my training, I will be giving you training of all these questions. But let me show you how you should solve. Join the following sentences to make one complete sentence without using and, but or so. Choose the correct option. Again, my instruction or my uh, suggestion to you will be the same. First of all, do not simply go for options. Whenever you are marking an option as correct, try to explain it why. If you cannot do it on your own, do ask your teachers do ask your tutor and if there is no one to help you talk to your friends who, whom you think can help you who you think can help you but keeping your problems hidden in, in your heart means losing your marks losing your marks now look at question number one we placed our order late. We received the food on time. So here two sentences are given and the given options are giving you the way the, the way they have been connected to be one. Which of them will be correct and why? Let me tell you which of them will be correct and explanation. Despite placed now. Let me tell you, this despite word, remember this, despite word is a preposition and you may note it down also. A preposition is always followed either by a noun, pronoun or a gerund. So this one cannot be correct because there is a verb coming after it. Here it is a subject coming after it. Here you can see it is followed by of. So only correct uh, answer to this question is B. Now question is why? And this is a technique. Why? Reason is, explanation is, this despite is followed by a gerund and here this placing word is a gerund. Now what a gerund is? A gerund is a word, a gerund is a noun you can say that ends with ing and does the work of a noun. For example, you can say smoking is injurious to health. So here smoking is formed from the word smoke and it is functioning as a subject of the next verb. Smoking is injurious to health. So a preposition is followed either by a noun pronoun or gerund. You better note it down somewhere and do the next set watching this video. The music stopped. The audience left the auditorium. Now you see the sentence is beginning with hardly. It is possible that you can get the, get the answer but that is not the way for scoring higher marks. How can you do? Explanation, explanation, explanation. If you can explain your own answer, you are on right track. 
if you cannot explain your answer there is vagueness in your mind there is uncertainty in your mind you cannot score good marks so it is always advisable to open yourself up ask your problems either to your teacher to your tutor or to a friend who you think knows better than you so these are some of the ways how you can improve now moving on to the answer the music stopped the audience left the auditorium hardly had the music stopped then then hardly had the music stopped since hardly had the music stopped when your correct answer will be d now why d will be the correct answer explanation is always important if you want to know the reason let me explain it remember when a sentence begins with the adverb hardly then the next word following it should be a verb that you can see over here had placement of had just after hardly is called inversion you can go to your grammar book in any grammar book and read the chapter inversion if you do not understand put your question in the message box i will explain and the second important point is the second clause must begin with the connector when so hardly is followed by when and in all these options here it is so here it is then here it is since it cannot be correct so you need to be very very clear about your grammatical portion next question you cannot enter the club you do not have a membership now you cannot enter the club unless you have a membership you cannot enter the club since you have a membership you cannot enter the club whereas you have a membership you cannot enter the club if you have a membership the correct answer will be a now again question is why a why not b c d let me explain why here the adverb unless means if not if not and unless and until both adverbs are very very confusing so you better do one thing you write down the meaning of unless and until and use these two adverbs in your own sentences only then you can understand the difference between the two very clearly now the meaning of the sentence is you cannot enter the club already here this is main clause you do not have so this part is also negative and this part is also negative so this main clause is negative because of this use of cannot and the second part is negative because of unless therefore unless is correct over here now moving to question number 4 she was very late she could not catch the train so it is the reason why she could not catch the train how it has been converted into a single sentence so your answer is she was too late to catch the train again reason why reason explanation is when we use the adverb to here you can see adverb to has been used it is followed by the infinitive you can see here infinitive you can see here infinitive it is called remove to so here it has been connected by using adverb to followed by infinitive now moving on to question number 4 grammar question number 4 let us see each question here also choose the correct option to rewrite the following according to the instructions given after each sentence the burglar ran away the moment 
he saw the God. So I do believe that you must have practiced a lot of questions on this pattern. Now, what will be the correct answer again and why will that be the correct answer? Why will that be the correct answer? So you can see all your options are beginning with no sooner. And the second clause you can see here, there is a comma over here, there is a comma over here, there is a when, there is then. Hmm? Remember the explanation. First of all, the correct answer. The correct answer to this question will be D. Now, why D will be the correct answer? The reason is, again, you write down somewhere on the notebook. When a sentence or clause begins with the adverb no sooner, then it is followed by a verb, not only, not necessarily had. It can be any auxiliary verb. It can be did also, it can be does also, or it can be any other verb. But important point is, important point to be kept in mind is, when a sentence begins with no sooner, it is followed by a verb, inverted verb, and the subordinate clause, that means the second clause, begins with than. So here you can see, the second clause is beginning with than. Note down on your notebook. Note down. When a sentence begins with no sooner, it is followed by inverted, it is followed by an inverted verb. Inverted verb, that means verb is placed before the subject. And the second clause begins with than. So whenever such question comes, you cannot lose your marks. And I have told you, that you can predict most of the questions. So next time, whenever you are solving this question, keep this concept in mind. Next question. The parents have trained their children well and you have to begin your answer with the children. This sentence is in the active voice and you have to transform it into passive voice. Now, how to transform into active and passive, you must be knowing. If you do not know, then I have made a rule, a technique, by using which any question can be uh, predicted before exam. But that needs some training. I am not providing that training over here. Training is, first of all, the sentence is the subject and object are reversed. For example, it is already given that you have to begin the sentence with the children. So all your options will begin with children, right? And next step that you have to keep is, keep the auxiliary verb in that sentence. So if the question contains an auxiliary verb, for example, it is containing have. So answer will also contain the same auxiliary verb. So, your answer number A, B, C, neither of the three options contains the same auxiliary verb. Only one option contains the same auxiliary verb and that is D. That is D. Then, what is its next step? What is the next step of this technique? I will be discussing in detail in some other set. So you subscribe this channel. Moving on to question number three. My cousins returned home one month ago. You have to begin your answer with it has. So it has been one month for my cousins return home. It has been one month since my cousins returned home. It has been one month when my cousins returned home. And it has been one month ago that my cousins returned home. What will be the correct answer? And again, why will it be the correct answer? The correct answer will be B. Now again, question is why? This kind of question has already been asked in one of the questions you have seen. It has been one month. So here, one month is showing the starting point of time. 
and therefore the connecting preposition will be since i have already explained in one of the questions earlier that since is used to show the starting point of time and for is used to show period of time so here since has been used to show the period of time now moving on to question number 4 it is here your form will be accepted if it is submitted on time and you have to begin with unless i have already explained meaning of the word unless unless means if not in other words the sentence wants to tell you that if your form is not submitted on time it will not be submitted it will not be accepted so if your answer is beginning with unless so the correct transformation will be unless your form is submitted on time it will not be accepted let us see where it is unless your form is submitted your answer will be b so once you have discussed all these possible questions hardly i will be making some sets for you and if you do my sets there is no chance of you missing the questions moving on to question number 5 the house needs a thorough cleaning again now what you have to do you have to use thoroughly in place of thorough thorough is an adjective thorough means complete and thoroughly means completely so here you have to see a sentence where verb is modified by an adverb so the house needs a thorough cleaning good question very good question so here your correct answer should be the house needs to be thoroughly cleaned again where is that the house needs a thoroughly cleaning wrong here thoroughly has been used before this gerundial verb the house needs a cleaning thoroughly wrong again here thoroughly has been used to modify this gerund it cannot be the house needs to be cleaned thoroughly so your correct answer will be c again why c so here you can see the verb is cleaned and because the question setter is asking you to use adverb so you must be knowing what an adverb is note down if you want to note down somewhere or you better memorize it an adverb is a word that modifies or adds something to the verb an adjective an adverb and sometimes even noun pronoun i don't know uh, this is a new piece of information an adverb can modify even a noun or a pronoun and sometimes even a clause an adverb can modify even a clause so my dear you need deeper understanding if you want to score 100 percent marks or maximum marks in your paper let us move on to question number six my sister offered me a new job in her company my sister offered me a new job in her company again you have to begin your sentence a new job this sentence is also in the active voice and it needs to be transformed into passive voice so my sister offered me a new job in her company a new job here this verb is in simple past tense so if you have been doing active and passive voice you must be knowing when we transform an active sentence into passive voice then we reverse the subject and object in that case this object should begin and then verb should come so simple past tense is transformed into passive voice by using was were then past participle let us see a new job was offered to be my by my sister in her company will be the right answer now why not be here it is present perfect here it is past perfect and here it is past continuous the point to be kept in mind is that when 
an active sentence in is given in a specific or particular tense it should be transformed into the same tense of passive same tense that means simple past simple past past continuous past continuous past perfect past perfect and usually perfect continuous tenses do not have passive forms therefore you do not need to bother about them i am going to watch my friends play tomorrow she said this is direct and indirect speech again for direct and indirect speech i have made a technique and if i explain you that technique you can easily know how to guess the coming question but uh, it is not possible to discuss the technique here for one question it will be taking at least half an hour to 40 minutes okay at present i am giving you the the explanation so here you have to begin she said so she said is called reporting verb and remember this let me first of all give you the answer i am going to watch my friends play tomorrow she said so she said is a reporting verb which is followed by a conjunction so next conjunction next word will be that so she said that she that 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 and here also that next word after conjunction just notice how i am explaining then the technique can automatically settle in your mind next word after conjunction remember next word after conjunction will be pronoun or noun so you see here she 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 is pronoun she is pronoun and here also she so when we transform an indirect speech or uh, sorry or direct speech statement into indirect then first we keep the reporting verb this she said is a reporting verb you see all the reporting verb same second part of that answer is a conjunction this that is a conjunction and remember third part of that sentence is always a noun pronoun so here you see she is a noun pronoun she is a pronoun now talking about fourth part it will always be verb it will always be verb tense now you must be knowing how to transform different tenses from direct to indirect speech a uh, present tense is changed into its corresponding past means here am going is in present continuous so it will be changed into its its corresponding past so i am going will be changed to was going i am going will be changed to was going so where is was going of course not a it is not this one of course not this is future continuous this is past continuous it can be my answer if the last one is not so there are two past continuous tenses so she said that she was going to watch so here my and here ha remember pronoun is also changed right so here it will be answer will be d so five things are to be kept in mind when you are transforming a direct speech statement into indirect remember number 1 it should be reporting verb second conjunction third pronoun fourth verb tense fifth another fifth word has not come oh ho it has come this following day this is called adjective or adverb here tomorrow is adverb so it is adverb and i have written a technique in my book this technique is called recovery technique recovery stands for reporting verb conjunction pronoun verb tenses and adverb or adjective i have written this in my this book here i have one book this one this book uh, is there so in this book i have written that technique it is on amazon but it is a very costly book there is no need for you 
to read it at present. I have written this and let us move on to the last question. Nithin is more talented than most of the professional musicians I know. Hmm. So this is again change of degree. You must be knowing there are three degrees of adjective. Positive, comparative and superlative. And here it is this use you can see this is comparative degree. And if you are beginning a sentence with few, it means the question framer asks you to change it into a positive degree. So what will be the correct answer? Remember whenever a comparative degree statement is changed into positive, the normal structure is as as. Means as intelligent as or as talented as. So here the sentence is Nithin is more, in, more talented than most of the professional musicians and sentence you have to begin with few so professional musicians i know have few this is wrong few professional musicians i know are as talented as nathan this can be your answer few professional musicians i know are not here it has been made negative it cannot be your answer professional musicians i know this also cannot be your answer so these four five sentences or eight sentences that i explained need a lot of grammatical knowledge on the part of a student which is not possible for any student to know this much so i would advise you to join me even for one month and uh, i assure in this one month, you can start thinking that you would not have done in last one year. So my aim is to make you how to think about the patterns of the questions and not simply solving the questions. So if you are simply solving the questions and knowing that today you have scored this percentage of marks tomorrow you have uh, uh, you know scored that percentage of marks remember students marks do not matter what matters is how confident you are how clear you are in your thinking so i would advise to join me and if due to any reason you do not want do not hesitate in asking questions to your teachers to your tutors or trust me you put up your problems in the chat box i will explain it and you don't have to pay for it what else can i do again i will be posting one more analysis on literature very soon so subscribe this channel it will help you a lot and watch this video a number of times before you are beginning your next practice set so it's all from my side hope this lecture of mine will be very very useful for you so see you in the next analysis